Welcome to a 1UP 3D Blender tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be continuing our stone texture. We're going to be working off the save, the XCF save we made before doing the bump map on our last texture. And we're going to be making it into a kind of stone tile that you could use for, you know, a road, a wall, something like that. So we're going to open that up. And as you can see, we have the, the background here and the bump map from the last, last texture we made. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer, white. And we're going to go to, um, well, the, you can design your own pattern of stone or whatever you want and do that. But there's also the mosaic filter in distorts that can make one very quickly for you and you'll just wanna make some of these adjustments All right. and there's different types you can do you can do stone if you do stone and you turn up the neatness you can get you know or square you can get a um, kind of perfect square so you can turn it down and get all kinds of random stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to octagons and squares. Turn this up and it makes kind of a cool pattern there. We're gonna hit OK. We're gonna change the visibility on those. Zoom in and let's select let's select the white and we'll move this down below the background layer. This, and we're going to hit Control I to inverse our selection. And uh, before we do this, your background layer after saving it will not have transparency. So if you delete it, it'll just make put white behind there. As you can see, there should be transparency. So, so we're going to hit. Control Z to go back and go to layer, transparency, add alpha channel. Now we'll delete it and as you can see there's transparency. Alright. So now you can see we have our tiles. We'll make that invisible. And we'll hit control I again so that we have the selection on the white and we're going to go to filters, decor, add bevel, It'll bring up this dialog box you want to make sure you click on work copy turn that off we'll turn this up to about 10 hit it and as you can see it adds a bevel and we'll do that again this time we'll do 5 We'll do five one more time. Just to make sure it has a good. Um, yeah. Now, one more thing we need to do when add transparency while we have this selected, and we're going to fill with black. That'll come in later, so we'll just change visibility on that. Right, and we're also going to deselect that now. And blur this a little bit. Oh, wrong layer, sorry about that. Um, that's a bit strong. We'll try two. It's probably about right. We just don't want those sharp lines on our on our final product. And we're probably going to have to blur that too because these lines are a little bit sharp also. Let's do 1.5 for these. We don't want to blur it more than we need to. Alright. So now we're going to go to map and bump map. We're going to select the layer we just made. And we're going to play with it till it looks about right. We just want it to look like these 
rocks are sticking out a bit. I like to use Sensoidal for most things. Oop, sorry, got away from me. We want to make sure that we don't get those black, really black lines. Alright. As you can see, they look like they're sticking up a bit. And now we're going to add our bump map from before. I like to take off the compensate for darkening. Alright, see so it's starting to look like stone. Now we don't need that layer anymore, so if you want you can delete it. And we're going to add a new layer. And this is going to be either your grout or dirt or whatever you want it to be. So we'll select a color. Um, we'll make this grout, so select our light gray, dump it, and we'll add some color variation to this, so here's kind of a light green, that'll be interesting. Right, and then dark gray. Right, and then we're gonna chop these up like we did in the last tutorial alright and you hit control shift A to deselect if you didn't see that in the last tutorial and we're gonna blur this about 200 And then add some noise. Alright, and I'm going to repeat the process for this one. And I'll pause it during that to save time. Alright, so we're back and we're going to merge these layers down. Alright, and we'll make that one invisible and move it below that. And now, since we're working with time constraints here, I'm going to use the same bump map to get it the kind of a stony look. Alright. We got that over it. Zoom in and bring this layer up. And we're going to blur this layer. This layer is a shadow layer. And we do not want 200. Let's try 5 to start with. Let's do 15, it'll probably work. Alright. Make it visible. Might have been a bit much. Let's try 5. Alright. And there's our stone layer. Your stone texture. You can go to export again. And we'll save it as a PNG. I'm saving it on my desktop. You save it wherever you want. Alright, and I'll show you what it looks like in Blender real fast. I'm going to pause real quick and get Blender set up. Alright, and here's our texture applied to a to a, a cube in Blender. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, if you want to apply it to something where you need, where it needs to tile, remember to um, go to Make Seamless in GAMP. Um, other than that, this is a pretty good texture. Um, they usually look better if you make your own custom pattern for them, but this works good for what we're doing. And yep. Hope that was helpful. Next tutorial we'll be doing probably wood and a crate, so I'll see you then.